Hello viewers, welcome. In this video, we'll be showing you how we can identify adware on our Alps T950S. But keep in mind that many of the things we'll be showing today are also applicable to other Android tablets. So, a quick summary, as you know, we purchased this Alps T950S and we identified that it was having a lot of fake specifications. And then once we dived deep into the internals for Android, we also found that it actually has adware. Now this practice of having manufactured installed adware may not be very surprising because if you look at this Walmart ad for a Black Friday sale, you can see that it actually advertises an RCA Android tablet and it specifically says Android ad free tablet. So this must be a very common practice of manufacturers installing adware on their tablets trying to make a little more money. In this case, the Walmart ad makes it clear that their tablet that's advertised for sale does not have adware. Here's an example of adware we found on the Alps T950S. On the very bottom of the screen, there's a banner ad that shows up and it's actually covering the buttons in your launcher. So it's very annoying to have, it's distracting and uh, it get, basically gets in the way and this this banner ad does not go away if you use a different app so it's always covering portion of the screen it's important to know that on day one when we received the tablet that AdWord did not automatically display on the screen it actually was clever enough to wait a period of time after we started using the tablet before it was triggered to display on the screen so before we start diving into the details for the adware analysis, let's actually talk about some reasons why you may want to remove the adware. As we've seen in the example, the adware was covering up part of the screen. So it gets in the way of the launcher, it gets in the way of apps on the screen. It's actually a very big annoyance and distraction. Those are two good reasons why you should remove it. But there are other reasons too. For example, the adware actually has to run as a separate process. and as it runs as a separate process, it consumes CPU cycles in your tablet and of course that slows down the tablet. And because it runs as a process, it also consumes memory on the tablet. And if it's not ads associated with an app, it makes no sense to be showing ads when you're using your tablet for other purposes. Now, because it's showing ads, it actually needs to load ads from the internet. And now that could mean it also uses data on your tablet. Now, if you have a three G or 4G SIM supported, then it may also consume data on your data plan. Furthermore, the adware that comes installed on your tablet could also create a privacy risk and in addition create a malware risk. So those are some good reasons why you should actually consider removing the adware that comes installed on your tablet. Now getting back to our discussion of the actual adware that is on this tablet, as you can see, this adware had to be triggered by something before it woke up and started displaying on the tablet. So let's actually look into that and try to figure out what's going on. There are multiple ways we've identified that trigger it. Let's look at one way that triggers the adware to display on the screen. Now if we hit the Chrome browser, we'll find that the adware actually Tr modifies the Chrome browser to load a particular URL m.wxad2014.com and once it loads that URL it, it seems to function as a trigger for the adware to start displaying on the bottom of your tablet screen and even if you were to exit out of the Chrome browser or close the tab the adware still displays so if, if I close the tab you can see it still shows on the bottom of the screen and even if you were to exit out of the Chrome browser, it's still present on the screen everywhere you navigate. So this is a real annoying problem. Now, just to illustrate the fact that the AdWord does not go away no matter what you do. For example, we have AdWord right now running on the screen. If we were to switch screens, we can still see the AdWord stays on the bottom of the screen hit back it still stays on the bottom of the screen really really annoying now this is not the way Android normally is you do not have ads showing on the bottom of the screen so this is a real problem with the tablet that needs to be solved because this is impacting the overall experience of the tablet and 
gives people a bad feeling about Android when, when the problem is really not an Android problem at all. So let's actually go in and use our trusty little tool. We like using the terminal, and we're going to go dig the details on this adware. So first of all, you can see even when we open the terminal, the adware is still in the bottom of the screen. Well, we know about that. We, we can't get rid of it immediately, but let's try to see if we can identify the process that's actually doing this malware. And it, let me zoom in a little bit here and, and slide this thing over we're going to actually try to get a process list. In, so PS is the command. And as we look through the process table, we can see the user IDs are on the left. Notice that user IDs in Android are labeled where every app has its own user ID. The next column is the process ID. And away on the right-hand side is where all the uh, packages names are, like com, dot, whatever. And that, that, those are the package names. Let me scroll all the way back up to the top so you can see. For, for those familiar with Linux, this is pretty much a standard Linux PS result, process ID second column. And on the right is the name of the process. So as we scroll back down, we can look through more of this list and see if we can identify something we feel is not normally there. As we look through this whole list, we see that there's one package named com.cz.search and it's right over here near the bottom of the screen com.cz.search let me point to that right here that looks very interesting that we don't normally recognize and if we go over to the left of the screen the user is u0 underscore a45 process id is 1885 and theory is if it is a running process that's running at user space that we can disrupt when the ads are showing, we probably can figure out that that is the process that is triggering the ads to show. So knowing our u usual Unix commands if and Linux commands, if we say kill in the process ID, it will stop the process. So if this is the adware process, kill 1885 should stop the adware process and it should disappear and let's hit enter and see if we were correct and it says that if you were to kill the process it actually requires root privileges so we've rooted the the tablet so we all we need to do is type su and we got root and now using kingo super user we can try running the kill command again now keep an eye on it and we actually kill the process the adware stops running this is a temporary kind of thing because Android can typically have a restart to restart the process after a period of time. But this gives us a very big hint that the adware is coming from the package com.cz.search. So what we want to do next is actually trying to identify a little bit in more detail where is this package? We know that some of the manufacturer installed packages would be in a special folder, but if we did not know where it is, we could type PM for package manager, path, and we enter the package name, and it tells us exactly where it is. Slash system, slash app, slash Google search that APK. Very interesting name if you were to ask me. Why would you use a name Google search unless you're trying to deceive the user and thinking it's some part of a package that came from Google when it is not. We'd like to note that anything in the slash system slash app folder is considered to be a system package and is not normally removable by the user. One thing to note here again is look at the timestamps on all these packages in the slash system slash app folder. They're all 2015 09 2am which indicates these all were set up by the manufacturer at the same time. We did install the Kingo Super User Root application and that also got dropped into the system app folder and it comes with a different timestamp. Now let's look for the app that's called Google Search.apk in here and check that timestamp. And there it is. Google Search.apk right near the center of the screen shows 2015 09 28 28 and as we scroll up further 
you can see that there are a lot of apps. Even the Antutu 245 benchmark app is there too, with the same timestamp installed by the manufacturer. So there are quite a few apps installed by the manufacturer, but we want to focus on primarily the Adware app, which is the Google Search APK. If all you want to do is to see if you have that Adware APK on your tablet, all you need to do is open up the terminal and type ls space dash al space slash system slash app and list all the files in that folder. And if you see something that Google search that APK, that most likely is the Adware package. Be sure to watch part two where we go over the details on how to remove the Adware package from your tablet. Hopefully you've enjoyed this video. If so, please tap the thumbs up. We'll be having more great videos to come. Please subscribe so you don't miss out. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.